Hi, everyone. Welcome back to part two of our five-part series. The story continues, George Clausen, world-traveled and wonderfully inspired artist. This is Susan in Canada speaking with Ava Clausen in Austria. Now let's continue our journey through George's unique world. Ava, um, can you tell us what type of artist is George? He is contemporary artist, of course. Um, what uh, type of uh, art is very difficult to describe. You can say uh, he was um, compared to uh, Gustav Klimt. He was compared to Picasso, to Salvador Dali, but he never copied them. Mm -hmm. He uh, was not even influenced because I did not, he did not want to go to museums or uh, exhibitions because he did not want to be influenced, mm -hmm. just doing his own. And uh, still he had components of uh, all these wonderful artists. And uh, that made a very, very unique style. Mm -hmm. And um, this style was recognized right away by art critics and some of his unique. And uh, this uniqueness um, made me really flabbergasted again and again. Oh. And did he create a lot of paintings or how many did he create? Oh, yes. Since he painted every day, hundreds and hundreds, I never counted them. Um, must be two or three thousand maybe <laughs> in wow. the whole. Uh, so uh, it's very difficult. Uh, and he never counted them because he had them as babies. Once the baby was born, mm -hmm. he loved it the most. All the other babies were not no more interested for him. Mm -hmm. So he said, that's my best. Every finished painting, that's my best. So wow. he forgot the other ones and he loved to see them from time to time. Well, when um, people who bought his paintings came up to him and said, oh, you know, I discovered again uh, a complete different, uh, uh, I had a di complete different inspiration, look at them, and uh, I discovered uh, things, uh, what did you mean by that? So he, he loved to hear that, but um, it was uh, the past. The present painting was the one. Wow. And what were his inspirations for painting? Um, he did not get inspired by somebody or something or anything. He, uh, like, um, let's say Mozart said that the piano, he did not think, uh, now I compose the magic flute. No, it came from somewhere. And mm -hmm. so that's what he, he composed his paintings. He never knew how it's going to turn out at the end. And, and, and therefore, every painting is different. It's not like um, sometimes you see paintings. Have you seen one? You have seen them all. Mm -hmm. Not this George painting. Mm -hmm. Every painting is different, even though his unique style floating through. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds so wonderful. And I'm enjoying the painting behind you right now in your living room. It's beautiful. That is, yeah, beautiful painting. What did you love most about his art? Um, well, the uniqueness again, uh, I must say, mm -hmm. because I, I never get bored. Uh, and um, also, if I see some paintings uh, after years, I, I see them all new again, and I discover mm -hmm. things. And even paintings that are hanging at the wall, uh, which are changed from time to time, mm -hmm. um, I discover a different um, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank so you. That, that's what I think is uh, his great uh, heritage. Wonderful. Thank you so much again. And I want to say thank you uh, for watching our segment of the life of George Clausen, the painter and the artist. Once again, click the next episode to continue the story. You won't want to miss it.